Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to calculate the molar mass of water, H2O. Molar mass is important because it helps you compare the number of particles reacting together. All right, weights won't work. All right, so you're going to need a periodic table for this. Um, this is one that I have. If you like it, there's one in the description below. And I recommend a calculator. So whenever I'm doing molar mass calculations, I like to follow these steps right here. Step one, I write the chemical formula. Step two, find the atomic mass of each element from the periodic table. Step three, multiply by the number of atoms in that chemical formula. And step four is add all the masses together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the chemical formula for water. And we have H, Two O, very popular one. Step two, we're going to find the atomic masses of each element. Well, here we have two elements. We have hydrogen and we have oxygen. So we got to figure out what those atomic masses are. All right. So hydrogen is right here. It is 1.01 grams per mole. All right. One. 0.01 grams per mole. Next is oxygen. All right, it's found right here on the periodic table, and its atomic mass is 16.00 grams per mole. All right, now that I've written that down, I'm going to go to step three, and that's multiply by the number of atoms in that chemical formula. For hydrogen, we have a subscript of two here, so that means there's two atoms. So I'm going to multiply my 1.01 .01 times two. This is a simple calculation. I still recommend always putting your calculations into the calculator because we don't want to make simple mistakes that end up with big problems. All right, so 2.02. .02. All right, next for our oxygen, we only have one of those. No subscript there, so that indicates there's one oxygen atom in that molecule. Well, any number times one is itself, so we have 16.00 grams per mole. All right, the final step is we're just going to add up all of the masses together. All right, so just going to add this together. This is a pretty easy one just because some of them can get complicated. We'll put them in the calculator. 16.00 plus our 2.02 .02 will give us our 18.02, which I bet you already had that in your head, grams per mole. All right, guys, it is as simple as that, and I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, would you please consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Until next time, have a nice day, and keep on learning.